back and welcome to Better Than Sex Ed. And today's video is all about breast. While some people are super informed about their breast health, there's still some misinformation out there that I wanted to address in today's video. And to help me address that misinformation, I decided to invite a very special guest, our very own Director of Primary Care Services here at Planned Parenthood of Orange and San Bernardino Counties, Dr. Shannon Connolly. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Connolly. Thank you, I'm really happy to be here. Excellent, so I thought to address that misinformation, we'd play a little game of true or false. Would you like to join me? I would love to. Excellent, so I have these note cards for you to hold up once I ask you some questions. All right, let's get right into that first question. Sure. True or false, a breast exam is a mammogram. That is false. A breast exam is when a healthcare provider does an exam to check for any problems with the breast. A mammogram is different. It's kind of like an x-ray and it's a test for breast cancer. All right, so what exactly happens in a breast exam? Well, usually your healthcare provider will have you uh, undress and put on something like a gown or a robe, and then you'll lay down on an examining table and they'll use their fingers to check for any lumps or bumps in your breast. They'll also probably look at the skin of your chest to make sure that there are no changes that could be a sign that something's up. Okay, great, so a mammogram would be done with a machine? Yes. Okay, got it. True or false, someone needs a clinical exam every single year? Um, that's true and false. Wait a minute, that's cheating. Okay, this is a game of true or false. You gotta pick one, Dr. Connolly. Okay, well the right answer is it depends on your age. If you are between the ages of 21 and 39, you need a clinical breast exam anywhere from every one to three years. If you're age 40 or older, you need one every single year. Okay, so say I've already had my breast exam in that year and I find something wrong, does that mean I just can't go back? No, that is false. Okay. Even if you've had a normal breast exam that year, if you find something that's concerning about your breast, please come in and see your healthcare provider so they can decide together if you need any further evaluation. Awesome, that's really good to know, what a relief. True or false, someone should do a breast self-exam every month. Well, that's kind of another one that's both true and false. I'll let it slide. We used to recommend <laughs> to everybody that they do a self-breast exam every single month, but we found that it caused a lot of stress. So now we're telling people instead to just do breast self-awareness. And what that means is knowing what's normal for you and your body, and also knowing what your family history is, so you can come to a healthcare provider and together decide what your risk is and what kind of screening you should have. Okay, awesome. Well, those are all the questions that I have for you today, Dr. Connolly. Thank you so much for joining me in that game. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. And if you at home have any more questions on breast exams, feel free to call, text, or chat us on our hotlines which can be found at PlannedParenthoodChat.org. And if you'd like to make an appointment for your very own breast exam, just head on over to your local Planned Parenthood Health Center and they'll help you right out. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.